Hi guys, Andrew here from Sea Run Fly and Tackle, and I'm going to show you everything you need to be successful to catch salmon off beaches and in estuaries in our coastal waters. So first thing you need, of course, is a rod and reel. I like to use a rod about eight and a half to nine feet long. G Loomis E6X. That's a prime example of what we're looking at. Uh, medium power is perfect. I like to run that with about a 3,000 or 4,000 size reel. Uh, you want your reel to be strong enough for salmon, of course, with a good drag system, capable of fishing in salt water as well. We've got to consider that salt is a little bit tougher on our gear. Uh, for line, I'm going to run braided line for my main line. I like to use Power Pro, uh, 20 to 30 pound. Uh, works perfect. It's a nice thin diameter line, so I can get really, really good distance with it. And there's no stretch with the braided line, so I can really feel everything on a far cast and we're trying to get really good distance when we're fishing from the beach the further we can get our lure out the more water we can cover the more salmon we'll put our lures in front of uh, in front of the 20 pound or 30 pound power pro i'm going to run a bumper liter of seaguar fluorocarbon i like to run 20 pound seaguar fluorocarbon i use 20 because it's strong enough that i'm not going to have to worry about breaking off a big salmon if i catch it and it'll also take a good beating uh, if my line gets up in the barnacles or just hitting on the rocks on the bottom, uh, it really holds well and I don't have to worry about anything breaking here. Uh, so that's really important. And then in front of that 20 pound uh, Seaguar fluorocarbon leader, I'm going to tie on my lure. So the type of lures that I use for salmon fishing off the beaches and in the estuaries, I love using spinners. They work really, really well for all salmon species. Blue Fox Vibrox spinners, about a 3 8 ounce or a number 4 blade. Excellent. Uh, prime lures, half ounce or two fifths ounce, number four or five blade. They work excellent as well. Spoons are another thing. Salmon love spoons. They love to chase them off the beach. Uh, prime lures, five eighths or two fifths ounce. 50 50 spoons or striped spoons. Excellent. Uh, Gibbs makes excellent spoons. We got coho spoons, size 45, very, very effective. Uh, 35 size as well. Uh, also works very good for salmon and Gibbs Crocs uh, 3 8 ounce and half ounce painted finishes uh, with the full paint and the fire stripes like we have here or nickel or brass with the painted red stripes on them excellent lures uh, when I'm using spoons and spinners I like to make sure that I have really good hooks on the end of them and I will often change the hooks out I really like to use either these Mustad Ultra Point or VMC Tech Set Siwash hooks so I'll just get rid of the hook if I don't like it on some of these lures and I'll replace it. And I normally go with a number one or a number one aught size hook, depending on what lure it's going with. Um, on top of the spoons and spinners, fuzz bombs and zingers, very, very effective as well. Uh, we can cast those out and retrieve them just like a spinner or spoon and we can also twitch them back in. Salmon love those from the beach. Uh, and speaking of twitching, twitching jigs themselves work great. So we can use these complete angler, uh, 5 16th or 3 8 ounce for example uh, painted jig heads those are done on really good mustad ultra point hooks and we'll put a curly tail so I like to use these rubber uh, either big bite baits or mr. twister curly tails brighter fluorescent colors like chartreuse orange and pink work excellent that's what they look like here when they're on the jig head and we can cast those out and twitch them back in and they're very effective for salmon fishing off the beach as well so if I have all this gear ready to go, I like to store it in uh, nice lure storage boxes. I can take a couple of these with me. I can get all this stuff in these two boxes, no problem. Easy to pack around. Going to need a good pair of pliers. You got to remember any salmon fishing we're doing off the beach in salt water, it's a barbless hook. Some cases you can use treble hooks. Might just be a single hook. We can look into that depending on where we're going fishing. But barbless hooks always for salmon in the ocean. So pliers to pinch the barbs pliers to take hooks out of fish, uh, scissors, we'll need those for cutting line. Um, then we need somewhere to put all this gear, so my, my two storage boxes, my Seaguar leader, pliers and scissors, all going to go in a nice waste pack, Sims, uh, waterproof waste bags, awesome for that sort of thing. Then I have my waste bag stored on me, I got my rod and reel ready to go, got my favorite lure tied on with a selection of more lures to throw at the salmon off the beach, we're ready to go hit them. I think we're going to have a good day fishing once we have all this stuff organized. So this stuff will work great for coho, chinook, pink salmon, 
really any salmon species we're going to target off the beach as well as sea run cutthroat trout and sea run dolly varden or bull trout um, this is excellent for all that stuff so if you guys get equipped with this sort of gear um, you check the tides you find a nice beach to go fish you can be very successful catching salmon and trout in salt water and it's a lot of fun to do that one of my favorite ways to fish so if we can help you any further you can always find us at sea run fly and tackle uh, www.csea-run.com uh, that'll link you up to our Facebook page, our Instagram page. Uh, don't forget to like us on YouTube as well. We've got lots of these videos out there to look at, and we're always willing to help out. Make sure you have your best day on the water. Good luck. Tight lines.